Some of our most ancient relationships as humans are with coastlines, where the land meets the sea in a rhythmic pulse of incoming and outgoing tides. Many animals and plants inhabit this dynamic intertidal zone, adapted to a life half exposed to air in the elements and half submerged beneath the salty water of the sea. Today we're going to explore some tide pools off the coast of California. Let's take a closer peek at these dynamic underwater worlds. The tides rise and fall twice a day as the gravitational pull of the moon pulls and pushes the ocean's water around the globe. Some of this water gets trapped when the tide drops, forming aquarium-like habitats called tide pools. This area between the high and low tide mark is known as the intertidal zone, a dynamic environment that is one of the most biodiverse habitat types on the planet. Those that inhabit the intertidal zone have to be tough, as they can spend many hours drying out in the hot sun and just as many underneath the cold, predator-filled waters. These sea anemones use stained tentacles to stun their prey and protect themselves. Crabs scuttle about these tide pools, scavenging off dead animals. Sometimes fish get trapped in these pools as the tide drops, and if the pool is too shallow and warm, it can stress and even kill the fish. Speaking of getting trapped, you have to be careful not to get trapped yourself while out exploring. One minute you could be walking through a search channel, and the next you could be waist deep in water from a wave or a pulse of incoming tide. These limpets seem to be doing just fine in their own little pool. They spend their nights grazing algae off of rocks and return to the same spot to rest each day, using a magnetic sense of direction to guide themselves. Their teeth are made of gatite, the strongest material made by any animal on the planet. Must be helpful to have tough teeth if you're chewing on rocks all day long. Hermit crabs can also be seen shuffling around tide pools, living in the shells of other animals to protect their soft bodies. A hermit crab's growth is limited by the size of the shell they have found and live in, so they're always on the lookout for a bigger and better home. Some of the most important resources in the intertidal zone are seagrass beds, which are sometimes exposed to the air but more often submerged beneath the sea. These are not seaweeds but true plants with roots and seeds. They provide critical habitat for many animals, and some species of fish, such as herring, laid their eggs on seagrass stems where they stay until they hatch. Among the hardiest and most abundant of the animals living in the tide pools are shellfish, or mollusks, which protect their soft bodies with hard shells. Many shellfish are sessile animals, which stay rooted in place throughout their lifespans, similar to plants, like this California mussel, for example. This has made them an easily accessible and reliable resource for many cultures through time. Clams are another important resource humans have been eating for thousands of years, and low tide is the time to go clamming. These mollusks burrow down beneath the sand and rocks to protect themselves, but patient hunters can spot the holes they leave in the mud and dig them out. The shells of these animals and others are present in some of the earliest archaeological sites around this world, like this ancient shell midden on the California coast. In fact, Native Californians depended on resources from tide pools for thousands of years prior to European colonization, developing long-term sustainable management practices for the harvest of fish, shellfish, and seaweed. These traditional resource management practices can provide links to past people's relationships with coastal environments while offering solutions for some of our contemporary problems related to fish and wildlife management. The next time you're on the coast and the tide is low, do yourself a favor take a peek at some tide pools and see what you can find. Unless you're foraging for food, don't take anything. Watch your steps from slippery rocks and always try to leave it better than you found it.